So I was eight years old and watching PBS because my parents wouldn't let me watch <laughs> regular TV. Um, and I saw a guy carving an ear out of rib cartilage. And I went and told my mom, I don't want to be a fireman, I want to be a craniofacial surgeon. And since that day, that's what I wanted to do. I chose pediatrics really because kids are just real. They're not, there's no pretext, there's no other motive. And the kinds of patients who have cleft lip and palate, who have jaw deformities, who have skull sutures that fuse too soon, are usually babies. I've spent many years basically trying to figure out how to do these surgeries through little incisions, you know, keyholes, minimally invasive, quickest recovery, the most likely to produce stable long-term results, the least likely to harm nerves, teeth, the growing parts of the face, and I have very few complications, you know, in some of the most complicated cases. The act of handing their baby to you and saying, I'm going to let you do something to this child with knives and scissors and power tools and you know I'm trusting you to take good care of my baby I mean that is a sacred trust you want your child to come out and look beautiful and you know that's what we all want and I think that what they're going to get here at Dayton Children's Hospital is just really great care and a positive outcome. Dayton Children's has all of the elements of a great big university medical center but in a slightly smaller package with all of the warmth and the familiarity of your local doctor's office. I mean, it, there's just a friendly feel to it, and I think you're gonna be hearing a lot more from this place in the future.